everyone so I have another tutorial for you guys and today it's actually going to be a pencil tutorial did I get ya? Actually, this is going to be a pen tutorial. And a lot of you guys have actually requested for me to do more pen tutorials ever since I did my EKG or ECG pen. Picture will be on the screen. As well as my Doctor Who pen. I've also made sonic screwdrivers and I think a few more other pens that you will see here on the screen as well. But I will definitely be making more clay pen tutorials, so don't worry. I am also doing a back to school collaboration video with Jackie from Nerdy Crafter and she was kind enough to ask me to do another collaboration with her. For me, all of my teachers always told me, you guys have to use a pen. You can't use pencils. I thought I would make something a little cute and a little different and make a pen that looks like a pencil. And for Jackie, back to school always reminded her of rock, paper, scissors, so she's gonna have something that's related to that on her channel, so don't forget to check that out. If you haven't checked out my back to school collab video from last year, I will link that down below where I did a tutorial of a bracelet with a bunch of my friends here on YouTube. So if you have any questions, let me know down below, but I'm gonna get started on making this so for this tutorial you will need a regular pen and when I say regular I mean one that doesn't click and uh, I can show you some other pictures on the screen of other kind of pens you can use. I am using Paper Mate at the moment but I have used Bic in the past and pretty much any pen that has this plastic wrapping here. So any pen that looks similar to this. I also do not recommend pens that have a clear plastic that looks like it's going to melt in the oven. I won't say that these kind of pens are oven safe but I say that they are more durable and able to kind of withstand the heat. So the first thing we are going to do is we're going to mark the pen. You guys may not be able to see it but there is a thin line right there so I know that's where I'm going to stop my clay. I am taking some pliers to also pull out the ink portion so just slowly wiggle and pull out. You're going to roll out your clay and you want to make sure it's thin so that your cap can still fit on the pen after you bake it. Here is my marking right here. What you are going to do is with the marking that you made earlier you're going to place that straight clay line against the line on your pen. Now notice that the pen itself it has to have the clay covering the back or the butt and now we're just going to cut the rest of the clay. Now this is going to be easier for me to show you than to explain but you are going to roll your clay around the pen and slowly roll it. Now once you've rolled it upward you are going to cut where the clay meets the clay again like so and this does not have to be perfect. You're going to take any kind of blending tool and blend the seams together. You want to be very careful and slow when you roll. You don't want to trap any air bubbles. Now this is what your pen should look like and I pretty much straightened out this corner right here and covered the butt of the pen. If you wanted it to look more like a pencil you can take your blade and cut straight lines down to make it look like a hexagon, like a real pencil. So you can choose to put the pink clay for the eraser right over the pencil or you can do what I do and cut a portion of the butt off. So now, this doesn't have to be perfect by the way, uh, you're just going to take some of your clay and then wrap it around the end. Once you've got the eraser on your pen, you're just going to roll it a bit so it looks more like a cylinder. So what I did with my silver Primo Sculpey clay, I made a very long rectangle and now I'm just going to texture it. Now wherever there is an uneven line between the pink and the yellow, you're just going to place the silver over it like so and then you're going to cut off the excess and blend. If you want to make the indents a little more visible you can definitely do that but this is what mine looks like and now all you have to do is bake this. Now baking is very important. You will bake it just as is without the ink, just the plastic part and I'll be back. Alright guys so this is what it looks like after it's been baked. And as you can see, it was perfectly fine. I baked at actually 275 for 20 minutes. Seems that you could bake at the package temperature, but you may want to check up on it. I'm just going to assemble the pieces back together, so I'm going to put the pen back in. 
So here is my cap and as you can see it does fit. Uh, I do notice that this is kind of coming out a bit. So something I would have changed was I guess make this a little bit thinner. But that's okay because it can still close, so that's the important part. And the fact that we made the little line, it means that the cap can actually close all the way and it won't fall off. At this point, you can decide to decorate your pencil whichever way you'd like. Okay guys, so I ended up just painting the number 2 on this pencil and decided that I'll probably just list this on Store MV and if anyone purchased this and wants to have their name written on this pen, I can gladly write your name on the pen for you. So this is pretty much my tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed and I will also be linking Jackie's tutorial right here on this side of the screen. Um, I'm really excited to be working with Jackie again because as many of you know, I did a collaboration with her not too long ago and it was really, really enjoyable for me and I think for her as well, I would hope. So I'm super happy that she asked me to do this. And of course, Jackie, I would love to collaborate with you again. I will also be linking on this screen and down below my EKG pen tutorial. A lot of you guys have been asking me to do more pen tutorials because you had questions about what kind of pen to use, how to make it, and I will have even more clay pen tutorials in the future. Just leave me down below your suggestions of what you would like to see. And if you have any questions, let me know. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you, Jackie. And I hope you guys have an amazing first day or first week of school, depending on when you're watching this video. And yeah, bye.